I'd like to introduce a two-part series in how to solve one-step equations with an emphasis on the subtraction property of equality. In this problem, y plus 14 equals 26, I look at my constant that's attached to that variable, and that constant is a positive 14. Now, when I see a positive 14, I'm thinking about how can I get rid of that and make it equal to zero? And the only way that I could get rid of that is by adding its inverse. The inverse to a positive 14, the opposite was what inverse really means. The opposite is a negative 14. Now, in the subtraction property of equality, it means what I do on one side of the equation, I'm going to do on the second side or the opposite side of the equation. And so I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides of the equation. This maintains the integrity of the equal sign. So therefore, positive 14 plus a negative 14 gives me zero. I'm going to go ahead and bring down my variable y. And then I'm going to subtract 26 minus 14. Therefore, 26 minus 14 is 12. Now, it's always good to double check your work. So wherever we see the variable, we are going to put the number 12. And it's a positive 12. So we have 12 plus 14 equals 26. And we could see that, that 10 plus 10 is 20, and 2 plus 4 is 6. So we see that 26 is equal to 26. Therefore, the answer is correct, and it checks out. In our next problem, we see 17 plus r equals 42. Now, we don't see a sign in front of the 17, so every time we see, I don't see a sign, I have to assume that it's going to be positive. If it was negative, that negative sign would be there. So what is the inverse of positive 17? It's a negative 17. And through the subtraction property of equality, what I do on the left side of the equation, I'm also going to do on the right side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 17 on both sides. Now, this is inverse of each other, and when we have a number that and its inverse, it always equals zero. So we will have r by itself, and then we'll have 42 minus 17. So we can see that we'll borrow 10. Now we have 12 minus 7 is 5, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So we see that r is equal to 25. Let's go ahead and check our work. So we have 17 plus that variable and replaced by the R would be 25 is equal to 42. Well, 10 and 20 is 30. 7 plus 5 is 12. Therefore, 42 is equal to 42. And we know that our answer is correct.